1 John chapter 4, verse 12 says this in the CSB. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God remains or abides in us, and his love is made complete in us. No one has ever seen God. This is a reference to God the Father. We as Christians believe in the triune God. We trust in the triune God. We worship, we adore the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, incomprehensible for the human mind, but biblical reality, truth. This is God. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. God the Father cannot be seen by human eyes. The Bible says he dwells in unapproachable glory. We cannot see him, nor, I believe, will we be ever able to see him because he dwells in unapproachable glory. However, according to Hebrews chapter 1, if we want to know what the Father is like, we look at the Son. God the Son came down to this earth, took the form of a servant, became a man like us, the God-man, Jesus Christ, Jesus the Messiah, 100% God, 100% man. He came down to this earth. He was tempted in every way in which you and I were tempted, and yet he did not sin, making him the perfect sacrificial lamb for our sins. He went to the cross, died on the cross for our sins, burying the wrath of God on our behalf, was buried for three days, rose from the grave, conquering death and hell. This is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that Christ took our place, and he conquered sin, Satan, and the suffering that comes with the fall of Adam and Eve, and this sinful nature that we all inherited, and this broken world we live in. Christ is the answer. When we see him, we know what the Father is like. But we cannot see the Father. No one can see him. So how do we see God today? Jesus has returned to heaven. Well, we see him through the love that's in God's people. Look with me again. 1 John chapter 4, verse 12. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God remains or abides in us, and his love is made complete in us. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 12, John is saying to us, you cannot see God the Father, but you can see his love functioning in the world today through his people. Jesus said, this is how people are going to know that you're my disciples, your love for one another. When we love, we display God to the world. Jesus said, you're the light of the world. He also said, you're the salt of the earth. How are we the light of the world? How are we the salt of the earth? God's love in us, acted upon, loving others, loving people. This is how his love is made complete in our lives, is by us living it out. It's not just enough to talk about love. It's not just enough to believe in God's love. No, we live it out. And in this, people are able to see who God is.